is Kendra. So it is Thursday and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go run some errands. We are gonna make some stops at Home Goods, Trader Joe's, and then I have to go to Publix after that. So Home Goods, we're gonna get some stuff to organize our laundry room because it's a hot mess. We haven't organized it since we bought this house like six years ago. And it's not terrible, but it definitely needs some work. And Kelsey showed me like some really good ideas on Pinterest. I think we're gonna find some good stuff at Home Goods. I'm also gonna look at some candles because I can't go in Home Goods without looking at the candles. So we're gonna get a couple of those as well. But mostly we're looking for stuff for our laundry room to reorganize it and make it, you know, just more functional because it's really hard to reach everything up there. And then I need an extra hamper in there. And it's just not as organized as it could be. So it could look better in there, definitely. So we're gonna do that. And also we need some new pots and pans because ours, we had to toss them because we use them so, so much. We pretty much use our pots and pans almost every day. They're in desperate need of needing to be replaced. So we're gonna get some more of those. I really want like a set of pots and pans. I know this sounds so boring, adulting, I know. But good pots and pans are really important when you cook at home, so. We're gonna look for those. We're gonna do that and do some mini grocery shopping later, not complete grocery shopping because we did most of it last week. Um, so yeah. So this is currently what our laundry room is looking like. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. As you can see, this is mostly what needs some work. And then Kelsey wants to organize like all of our detergents and some cleaning products up there and towels and things. So. That's gonna have like a completely different look up there. Eventually, like at some point, I wanna get rid of like this rack and get actual shelving put in here, but that's for a later home improvement project. But for now, we're gonna just reorganize it better up there. But this is bothering me. There's like wrapping paper from Christmas. We um, keep a lot of our grocery bags. We either recycle them or we keep them for later use for other things. This is an extra laundry basket. It's just not the best. So, um, this is going to look much better after we're done. Okay, guys, so quick OOTD. I just put something semi-cute on so I don't look completely busted when I leave the house today. I'm not going to lie, lately I haven't really been putting in a lot of effort when I leave the house. I just put on sweats. Even though I think I still look cute in sweats, but the weather... It's been very confusing lately, so I honestly haven't really been knowing what to put on. But I'm just wearing this long sleeve uh, Heather Gray shirt from Joy Brown. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is from Joy Brown. And then this really cute like charcoal gray maxi skirt. And this is from Tala. Um, the brand is called Tala. Their website has like a ton of like really soft basics on it. So whenever they have a sale, I want to get some more of their pieces. But I wanted to test out this skirt first before I invested in any other pieces. And this is so stretchy and comfortable and soft. So I think I'm going to go back on there. Um, and I just have on slippers right now. I'm just going to wear my short Uggs with this because it's 57 degrees outside. So it's still semi-cool enough for Uggs, but not cold. So... I have a couple of ideas for the laundry room. Usually when I do any kind of inspo, like kind of like when we did the bookshelves, I like to take inspo from Pinterest and I just take at least like four or five different pictures and basically create my own version of what I'm looking for, like in my mind. And also depending on what I find. So you also have to base it on what you find wherever you're going. I don't feel like going to the container store so hopefully I find everything I need here in Home Goods because it's just gonna have to work because the container store does get kind of pricey depending on how many ooh, ooh, front spot how many items uh, you're getting when you go there so it's just cheaper to go to Home Goods. I've Is been this lady gonna hit these? I don't think she see them. Okay. <laughs> we almost saw somebody commit a crime. <laughs> I honestly uh, just have been wanting to redo this laundry room for like the past year because it's gotten out of hand. I just cannot wait to declutter it. And I love doing these kind of projects in spring. There's something to be said about spring cleaning because um, I haven't done my closet yet. I might do my closet in another vlog because you guys know I spring clean my closet every year. I just brought this. By the way, if you have Trader Joe's and you like drinkable yogurts, these low fat strawberry smoothies um, are really good probiotic smoothies these are so good oh, yeah those are and they don't make my stomach hurt and i'm gonna have some jerky when i get back in the car 
in case we're stuck in traffic. This is Bucky's. If you, I think they only have these in the South. If you do not live in the South and they have Bucky's, let me know. But they have some of the best beef jerky I have ever had. And this is the Steakhouse one. I haven't tried this one yet because the last two bags I finished actually over the past like five days. I finished two bags by myself. I had the cherry one, which was delicious, and then the teriyaki. But the cherry eat. The cherry eats. Hopefully I like the steakhouse one. I just like to uh, keep my protein high throughout the day and I notice a big difference in my hair when I don't incorporate a lot of protein in my diet. So I personally feel like my body type doesn't work well with veganism. Mm -hmm, me neither. I know that's controversial but I don't function well when I don't well, eat meat. Well we did meat. our fast last year. Yeah. We weren't both of us were like I was girl. not feeling okay. Yeah I felt like very weak had a lot of headaches a lot of headaches um so i need iron in my diet even when i just take iron supplements i feel better when i eat I actual meat better. yeah when i eat actual meat yeah, me same too. me too guys so we're back from running our errands uh, i'm gonna show you guys what we got from home goods on tomorrow because um i don't want to rush and plus i wanted to show you guys what i got in uh redo the laundry room at the same time like within the same day so i'm just gonna do that tomorrow because i need to work out but i'm gonna show you guys what we got from the grocery store really quickly um this is not a full-blown grocery haul because we usually get way more things than this but this is like a weekend food grocery haul. First from Trader Joe's, we got some ground turkey, barbecue cut salmon, baby spinach, turkey jerky from Trader's. And then we got some more organic ketchup. And then I got some of these extra sweet plums. Technically it's not plum season in my personal opinion because I feel like they taste better like right in the middle of summer. But these say extra sweet plums. So I want to have one later on tonight and see if they're actually sweet. Also from Traders, we got this mandarin orange chicken because I like to eat this on Fridays because I do not cook on Fridays. And then we also got it with the vegetable fried rice. Bomb. And then I got some white wine. I got two bottles of my favorite Sauvignon Blanc from Traders, the Bell's Beignets. I showed this at the end of our last vlog. Just the wine that we had. So if you're looking for like a good cheap Sauvignon Blanc, then you would like this one. It's very crisp kind of lemony kind of fruity um so it's really good with like fish or a white sauce pasta and it's just bomb so or if you're doing like a you know charcuterie it's delicious and it's only seven dollars i never buy seven dollar red wine just because every time i try to tr try to try a cheaper red they all taste like crap but we're starting to realize that cheaper white wines actually taste pretty good but when it comes to red I, I can't go cheap on red i'm sorry i just can't the cheapest i can go with red like cabernet is 13 dollars. below that they're not that good to me um if you like a sweeter red the 19 i think 24 bourbon barrel aged red any kind of bourbon barrel aged red it's going to be sweeter and more full body and it's like very like decadent so yeah and then i got two more white wines so Kendra and I, like, if you notice, we like to drink more white wine when it gets warmer outside. Um, so we tried this one for the first time last week, and this is the Vin de Bordeaux Sauvignon Blanc. And I got two of them. This is also only $7 at Trader's. Like, it's bomb. So this is also nice and fruity and has, like, very, like, light, refreshing notes. Kendra picked up these spring gummies. Because they have the most delicious gummies at Trader Joe's. I always get their gummy bears, um, but they didn't have any this time. Luckily, I still have two more small 
of bags of their gummy bears. They're the gluten-free gummy bears from Trader Joe's. They're bomb. And then I got a couple of things at Publix. I just ran in there really quickly to get some ingredients that Kendra needed for pasta, her pasta dish that she's making this weekend. Um, so depending on what we're doing, sometimes she'll cook on the weekend, sometimes I'll cook. If we're going out with friends, sometimes we'll go out to eat. It's her turn to cook, so she's doing a red sauce pasta this time. We picked up this Italian turkey sausage, the rigatoni pasta from Barilla, and I got a carbone sauce. This is our favorite. She asked me to get the marinara one, because I also like the garlic one. It's very good, but we got the marinara one. And then I got this replica red, because red wine goes better with red sauce dishes so i got this replica this is one of my favorite reds and it's not too expensive I just picked up these fries because these are my favorite frozen fries they're like really crispy and like breaded they're delicious so yeah now i'm just gonna put all this away and i need to go work out again and i might wash my hair tonight because i have so much residue it's disgusting like i said i will show you guys everything that we got from home goods on tomorrow and then we will revamp our laundry room together happy friday feeling nice and refreshed um i went to bed a little bit earlier last night than i usually do um but i'm gonna show you guys what we got from home goods yesterday by the way i feel weird with this metal part i just left it like this because this is how my hair fell today for some reason so i just left it in this metal part i feel like kendra i guess i'll start with these first okay so first things first kendra actually found these see this is why it's good to go shopping with two pair of eyes because especially if you're at home goods because sometimes you're walking through the aisle so fast that you may miss something or even if you're not walking through the aisles fast it's just so much stuff on the shelves that you may miss something um but kendra actually found these these little containers they were in the same aisle as like tupperware and they were out over from um pots and pans so in that area so a few rows down from there because i'm pretty sure most home goods are set up the same so just so you don't have to be walking through your entire home goods like that's the section you can find these in so like tupperware um cutting boards near that area pots and pans so over there um but yeah got these air sealed jars for our i think they're called scentables you know the little pebbles that you put in um your loads to make them smell better i wanted uh these for that and I wanted to make sure that they were air sealed so that they stay fresh. It's gonna keep all your laundry products a lot fresher. So I got two of those. So I like how they're, they come off really easy like that. So yeah, these are cute. And I like the color of this wood too. I didn't know if I wanted a lighter wood, but when Kendra found these, I was like, I like these. And then I got two more from like the same collection, but these are bigger. So these are bigger and they have like the same kind of top that you just pull off like that super convenient so i got these for our pots our laundry pots two of them so so one is for like regular scented pots and then the other is for uh just the gentle unscented pots that we like to use for our whites and pillowcases and face towels because i don't like using anything scented for anything that i'm going to be putting on my face so face towels and pillowcases i always use non-scented pots or non-scented laundry detergent just because 
I find that my skin is less irritated. And then I got two baskets um, for microfiber towels and mop heads, like clean mop heads. Whenever she washes those, she can just put them in here with the uh, microfiber towels. And then I got a longer one. So this one's a lot longer than the other one. I love Home Goods baskets just because they're so cheap. This one was like $10. This one was a little bit more, it was 13, but yeah, this is gonna hold all of our spot removers. And I also think I'm gonna put, I think it's toilet bubble cleaner in there as well. So just other cleaning supplies are gonna go in here. And then I got a step stool. For me personally, it's annoying. It feels like an inconvenience every time I do laundry because I'm having to be on my tippy toes to get the laundry detergent. Cause right now we're using liquid laundry detergent. Because one of our detergents right now is a liquid one, the gain is like in a big heavy thing. It's so inconvenient. So it's just easier if we have a step stool so that we're not straining trying to reach for things up there. I got this extra hamper um, for guest towels and blankets because it's another hamper in there right now that Kendra puts her clothes in. But I wanted to get another one that was similar in tone. So it's flat on the back to put against the wall and then it's like rounded in the front. And Kendra told y'all we needed some extra pots and pans. So we got three that we needed to be replaced. So I got a medium sized pan, nonstick. So yeah, this one's just a little bit bigger. So I have to have my nonstick pans for when I steam vegetables, when I make pancakes, I just use them like every single week. So I needed new ones because the other ones that we had, we had had for years like a long time. When I have things, I use them up. And then I got one more, this big one, this very deep one. I needed this desperately because the one that we have now, the handle broke on it and I've been using it <laughs> for years because it's such a good pan, but the handle broke. It's the same one that I actually used to make my pasta dish in the last vlog. The, the handle has been broken off of that thing for maybe five years. My mom broke it on accident one time when she was using it when she was cooking at one of our apartments. And yeah, we finally got a replacement for that. And then we just got a few candles, not a lot, um, because we like to do like cream and white candles on the coffee table during spring and summer. So we needed some more because the only cream and white candles in the buffet back here are fall candles. So the scent doesn't really go with the vibes of now so first i got two of this sand and fog brand this is the scent amber and fig and it smells so homey and cozy it kind of reminds me i don't know if you guys remember the candle home from bath and body works this reminds me of that and i love fig you guys know if you watch any of our perfume videos you know i love fig so i just got two of these and they were only ten dollars and then kendra found this extra big one because we like to do like a actually i don't like this top yeah. I don't like the top on these either, but we just usually keep them to like put the candles out uh, instead of blowing them out because blowing them out, you have to replace your air filters a lot more often if you blow your candles out. So instead of blowing your candles out, just put a cover over them and it's way better for your um, air filters and your vents. Very faint light smell. This is salted vanilla orchid. And then we just got an extra black candle just because we like to have like a black candle in the back burning for our beauty videos just because i like i like how black candles look burning in the back of the video it's very aesthetically pleasing especially with the new vibe of our uh, beauty room so that's what i got this for so kendra found this one it smells so good okay so that is all i got i'm gonna drink some more of my coffee so i can have a little bit more energy
so today is Saturday and we're sitting on our beauty room floor so you know what that means time to unbox some packages so some of these have been downstairs for like the past week but Kendra brought them up here and like I told y'all a while ago every time this fills up we have to go ahead and open them first one YSL. first we got something from YSL this is their new love shine lip oil sticks well, I've already been loving their um, candy glaze uh, lip oil. You notice every brand coming out with their own lip oil now? Well, it's not technically an oil. It's like compact. Oh, it's like a lip balm. Yeah, it's like, like a, a lip gloss. balm, but it just go on like a lip gloss. But I noticed uh, oh, other brands packaging. have like lip oil. Since Dior like been selling out that lip oil, every brand has created a lip oil. It's so true. So this looks like a, basically a large version of it. Packaging though. They took their time with this. It's like a tower of lippies. Ooh. I like this color already. This is pretty. This is like a dark rosy terracotta color. Yeah. Wait, that did look darker. Just Sorry, just slightly darker. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. I'm curious to see if these are anything like the other ones that so I opened last time. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Cause these look like um, more color pale. The other one are like um, the glossy bombs from Hourglass. The other ones I opened. No, these are sheer too. Oh, they're sheer. See, there's no really. Oh. Maybe like a tint. So why don't they just call them lip tints? I don't know. Ooh, I like all these shades though. They actually know. work. No mind. Oh, all the colors are nice. So they don't have any like super light pinks, which I love because most of the time, some of these brands be having colors that just would never work for me. Not wearable. But these are actually really pretty. Uh, next we got a Clarins package. Oh, it was a moisturizer. Oh I man, I thought it was a lip treatment. <laughs> this is their Niacinamide and C Holly Extract Cream Skin Renewing. Line smoothing night cream. Definitely gonna be using this as a neck cream because you guys know my face is very sensitive. <laughs> so sometimes they send lip products and then sometimes they send skincare, but they haven't sent like skincare in a while. This is Lancome. I haven't had a Lancome packet in a while. Taint Idol Foundation Mascara. And what is this? Ooh, Juicy Tooth Lip Gloss. It's like a Sheen, so this is probably would be pretty if you want to like put it in the oh center. Oh god, it's amazing. What? I'm running low on this. <laughs> this is my favorite eye makeup remover. It is the best, yeah. That's the facial. I'm obsessed with this eye makeup. They do have sunscreen in them, but I don't know. The only issue I have with uh sunscreen and foundations is that they don't have a high enough SPF, but this is just SPF 25. Mm -hmm. But it's still better than nothing. I'm just saying. I wonder if they redone the formula for these. Because even the packaging looks different. It does. For the foundation. Yeah, I have a mascara. Oh, never mind. Because I love this big mascara. This is a good mascara. I still got the waterproof one in my door. I, I'm obsessed It's with amazing. Mascara. Yes, their big mascara is bomb. So good. Yes, yeah, it's a very I like mascara. the eyeball one too. Oh, this is a collab with a makeup artist, Sheikah Daily. It's a collab with Sheikah Daily and Lancome. It's so cool. Cool. Good for her. Nice. I don't wear brown eyeliner. I know you do. I do. Ooh, I do wear brown. It's like a felt pen. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yes. This is pretty because sometimes I don't want like a stark black. Sometimes I want like a, uh, like a brown. Because you know I use eyeshadow sometimes it's like to do my wing. Yeah, I know you do. This is perfect because this is a liquid liner pen, but it's in chocolate brown. Super convenient. Y'all, if you're looking for a good eye makeup remover, the Lancome one is by far the best in our opinion. It's very similar. It's basically like the bougie version of the Neutrogena one at the drugstore, but this one is better to me because it doesn't make your eyes burn. And it's probably pretty for summer to like put on lid, your lid. Li liquid eyeshadows. That's just so pretty. I'm not gonna bore you guys and show you every shade, but just know Lancome has new liquid eyeshadows. I've been waiting to open this from Garnier because they have a new bond line just like everybody and their mom but that don't mean we're not gonna try them because yes, every brand has a bond line now like we're just talking about how every makeup brand has sort of lip oil yep they mm -hmm. have bond treatment at every you know store yeah every brand like more than half of the brands that we've used in the past few years have been coming out with bond collection products i guess because they've done more research on it it seems like after one thing is super successful for a brand other brands see how well it did and want to basically create their own version of it yeah which so i true. understand it makes sense but sometimes you have to stick to what you know too that's true we are 
Ooh, my bad job. Okay. Uh, inner fiber repair treatment. It's a rinse out treatment. Then we have the hyaluronic filler, hyaluronic moisture repair shampoo, hyaluronic moisture repair conditioner, and then they have a serum and a gel cream. Ooh. Gel cream seems interesting. Is this a styler? Yeah, it's a styler. Yes, they leave in. Ooh. No, I love the gel cream. I love gel cream. Oh, I do like how big this their treatment is. Because most treatments are in like smaller bottles. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was focusing on my face. Most treatments are in smaller bottles, but this one is a 10.1 fluid ounce. Because recently uh I've been using Shea Moisture's new bond collection, which has been working very nicely for my hair. My hair has been like super soft. And I had I've had very minimal shedding because mm -hmm. I've used it three times already and I already noticed a difference in my hair. So if you guys haven't tried the new Shea Moisture Bond Collection with the Amla oil in it, it's yeah. very good. And I just realized I Amla oil, too. it's the green oil you use sometimes to do your oil treatments. The Indian oil, yeah. They put it in. The one you hate the smell of? Yeah, I can't stand it. It smells so bad. That's why I don't buy it no more. <laughs> It I just stinks. can't take how bad it smells. It stinks. So Shea Moisture like line with the almond oil smells so good. Yes, it does smell good. I like the smell of that one. But like the one you're talking about that I get from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Like it works so well, but I couldn't take the smell. Don't it stain a lot of stuff too? Almond oil? Because it's green, the, right? the dark oil? green, right? Well, yeah, you can't get it on like clothes or like that. Right. But that's any oil though. Okay, then it kind of reminds me of their oil. Kind of same bottle. The Garnier oil. Oh, it's not with the orange top? Mm hmm. I was talking I thought about the bottle was orange. The Argan oil. Oh, sorry. I didn't know which one you were talking about. Green Scout Massager. Oh, this one feels nice, though. Because the thing I issue that I have with these, because a lot of people have been like putting these in their like hair growth routines, and they do work if you have the right one. They can't be too hard. So they have to, you know, be squishy enough, like have enough flexibility to actually do what they're supposed to do because if you get one that's too hard like that's way too hard that doesn't where these don't bend you see how these bend mm. that's how you that's what you want these to bend if you get one and these are plastic like this part then that, that can actually thin your hair and make your hair thinner all of these are not created equal so make sure you have a very flexible one see how flexible these are at the tips mm. Yeah, because I feel some other ones that feel too, too like, hard. Hard, yeah. Because some of them, some people have been making them like, with this plastic, mm -hmm. the plastic that's in your hand. Mm -hmm. But these are supposed to be like more rubbery, rubbery. and squishy. Like silicone. -y. Yeah, like silicone. -y. So these, nice and flexible. Oh, that's going to be nice. Oh, I used to love sun silk. It probably wasn't the best for our hair, but. Well, it worked at the time. It worked at the time. It's probably yeah. got the silicone. True. Here you go. Been a great assistant. <laughs> I will be a terrible assistant. You would be a terrible assistant, actually. She don't listen. <laughs> you do listen. You be in your own little world. I just don't like being told what to do. You know that. Uh, next, we have one from a brand called Jones Road. Oh, I've been seeing ads for this. They recently actually contacted me on Instagram to try. Oh, this is their Miracle Bomb. I've been seeing ads of this. Y'all, excuse my hair. Today is a wash day for me. But this is their new Miracle Bomb. So they sent their Miracle Bomb in the colors Miami Beach and Sunkiss. So this is probably going to be a good uh, bronzer shade for me to put on the perimeter. So this is Sunkiss. Have you used cream products? No, I don't like cream products. Yeah, I don't either. They usually don't work on me because my skin's so oily. They make me oilier. Oh, and this is making sure they don't got to sit. <laughs> um, this is Miami Beach. So this is supposed to be a blush shade huh i'm excited to try these Ooh, it's a nice brush it's not too dense Ooh, it was very soft too okay we have another hair package this is from way they sent us their detox shampoo Ooh. heard great things about this i still haven't tried this detox shampoo because usually when i use a clarifying shampoo i like my aveda rosemary mint I have heard really good things about this one. Oh, it does. It smells bomb. Mm -hmm. Like that. Their signature scent, mm -hmm. which smells like their perfume in Melrose Place. Yes. Melrose Place to me smells like all their products. Then they sent their leave in conditioner. I have used this before. In like I used it on my straight hair. Travel, yeah. I 
I've used it on like um, overnight waves, like heatless waves. Um, my hair went straight, but I haven't used it on my curls before. And then they sent their hair oil. I have used this before. Their hair oil is pretty nice. It's just very, very lightweight. It's actually good for um, like if you just did like a silk press because it's like not greasy. Yes, damn. It smells more floral though. More floral? Mm hmm. Not as sweet as Mel Rose Place smell. Mm. I need to wash my hair anyway. <laughs> Well, I think this is their newest product. They sent their Whey anti frizz cream, which I'm very excited to try. Ooh, I wonder how this will work with their uh, curl defining cream because I love their curl defining cream. Ooh, and our favorite products from them, their scalp and body scrub. Love that scrub. Y'all know we've been using this scrub for years yeah. now. It smells incredible. It smells good. What, the anti frizz cream? Mm-hmm. Ooh, it does smell nice. So good. It's like a light, mm -hmm. dainty, fresh, fresh, florally scent. Yeah. Very feminine, pretty scent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is perfect time because the one in my shower is like down here. Okay, so our next box is from Curl Days. From Curl Days. Because I've only tried their gel yeah me too just, and i like that when i tried it yeah but it was like a soft hole when i tried it. yeah it's like a soft hole gel Ooh, silky hydration creamy shampoo and then silky hydration detangling conditioner and this is a daily shine and repair spray Ooh, that's nice i love like everyday stuff i can like yeah like boost shine and help strengthen hair yeah oh, something mommy Ooh, used to use <laughs> This smells like some mom used to use in I hair. You remember that MOM lotion? Oh, mom's carton. This smells like that. Yeah. So does this. Oh, it Man. does? Oh, it does. It has like a sweet pineapple, pineapple. smell. It's very nostalgic. It smells like pineapple. It's very beauty supply store esque. We like that smell. You know I do. You obsessed it's with It's addicting. Smell. I get a rush when I go in the beauty supply store. <laughs> I have yeah. a problem. I can't yeah. go in there to use the drag you out of there. Uh-huh. Yeah, the last time I went in there, I think you, it was me, you, Mama, Kia, and Talisha. Yep. And I was like, no, I'll wait in the car. That would have been a bad My cousin day. and my mom wanted to go in there because they was, wanted to get some hair because we were doing hair that day at my cousin's house. And I was like, I can't go in there. I know myself. And I didn't want to be the only one sitting in the car by myself. So I went in and then I left spending like over $200 at beauty supply store. So I can't go in a beauty supply store. Well, all the curls look pretty. Ooh, I like, she has a, um, they're like a Bantu knot set. Hmm. I will be doing eventually a Bantu knot tutorial because I haven't done Bantu knots in like years, but I'm going to try one like very soon over on the beauty channel, of course. Um, then we have Creamy Curl Styler, great for twist outs, braid outs, and wash and goes. And then they sent their, oh, Intense Deep Conditioning Hair Mask from the Silky Hydration line, so... I have to try this hair mask because I haven't tried a new hair mask in quite some time. Why well, have we been using like the same ones that work? Yeah, I use the same like six in rotation over and over again. Yeah, me too. And plus I want to um, start reincorporating some more like super hydrating ones in my routine because I use the crap out of the Manuka Honey one from Shea Moisture. Um, and the rest of my masks are mostly strengthening masks because um, the Manuka Honey is the only hydration mask that I rotate with the other ones. Because we all know hair needs a balance of protein and hydration. All right, so that is it. Now we're going to take all these to the recycle. I'm talking like we got to go somewhere just outside. And then eat some leftovers because I'm starving.